A new Justice Department Inspector General report found the DOJ is not effectively sharing information with law enforcement agencies about known or suspected terrorists, or KSTs, in the Witness Protection Program. I mean, essentially, the government is itself defeating its own watch list by giving new identities to witness, witnesses um, who are cooperating. This was a follow-up to a 2013 IG report that found the new identities of KSTs in the Witness Protection Program had not always been added to the terror watch list. The terrorist watch list may have a particular person who's raised money for uh, Al-Qaeda or raised money for ISIS or something like that. And because they're part of an investigation, a federal investigation, they get a new identity. Uh, well, that identity needs to be watch listed. The IG's recent audit found the program had made some improvements but that record keeping of KSTs was still poor. In one case, the IG found a KST was given a new ID and was never asked to return it until years after leaving the program. That might have been an oversight at the beginning of putting together the watch list, but the watch list has been in operation for more than a decade now. The DOJ responded to the report by agreeing with the IG's recommendations and plans to implement policies to fix these issues. Edgar says the report's findings show a potential security risk, but ex-CIA agent and terrorism expert Mark Sageman disagrees. Not sharing the name really doesn't add or doesn't subtract for, from the uselessness of a watch list. Sageman says the list is too big for it to be effective, which Edgar agrees with, but overall, he says he still supports it. The watch list is over-inclusive and there's a lot of people on it that shouldn't be on it. Um, but, you know, it's the only tool that we really have to do this kind of information sharing.